Hello everybody, I'm speaking to you today from my garden and I'm outside because it always seems that that's the best thing to do in lockdown. And indeed the classes that will be in school and we will be having some classes in school, we will having some students from key workers and also from uh, some EC students, they will be being outside as much as we possibly can because we all know that that's the safest way to take education forward in a time like this. But for the majority of students, I'm afraid, and I'm always sorry to have to say this, that we are going to have to move online for the foreseeable future, because as you know, the country is going into lockdown. What is good is that we have a lot of experience now of teaching online, and we know that we were really successful doing it the first time. Indeed, so successful that ECIS asked us to present on the ways that we had put our online program together and that's really good that we have strength in this area and we can do it well we have looked at ways that we can improve so as an example uh, in primary you will find that classes will be far more live than they were when we did it time before but we'll also be looking to improve as we go so if you ever have any ideas about areas that you wish to see improve then please don't hesitate to contact us and as we did last time we will be sending regular questionnaires to get feedback from you. There are a couple of reminders that I should give in lockdown. The first is it's so important please that we are aware of safeguarding and that we do treat the lessons online as normal lessons which means we need to turn up in the appropriate dress, make sure we're in an appropriate setting and have our materials ready. And also that for teachers this is, can be a difficult time, they have to juggle and rearrange the way that they go about these programmes. So please also ensure that you keep things like emails to a minimum, focus through chat and on Teams so that teachers can operate on Teams and can focus on their lessons because we have evidence from schools around the world that one of the problems that's happened in lockdown is that people can be overwhelmed by emails because it's so easy to slip into that when there's no other way to communicate. I want to thank the whole community for the way that you come together in this time and for your cooperation and I've had lots of comments from teachers about how empathetic the community has been and how great students have been and I have to say our, our teachers well have been so good in the way they responded to these difficult situations. It's just another example of a really strong, positive community. So thank you everything for all you're doing and I look forward to a time that I can see you all again soon and school is back to normal.